Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try uh, I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry. Thank you, Hank Williams. Okay, we need an E chord today. Uh, fifth string, fourth string, second fret, third string, first fret. Okay, it's in three, four time. So what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to hit my sixth string open. That's my E. I'm going to hit it like a boom, down, down, up. All those booms. Okay, that's my E chord. That's what I do on the E chord. So boom, down, down, up. If you have trouble playing the bass notes like that, you could just do down, 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 up. Perfectly fine. Okay. Um, as a variation in the tune, uh, you don't have to do this, but if you want, you could do an E7 chord. Uh, all you have to do is pick up that ring finger. So it's the fifth string, second fret, third string, first fret. For a bar too, if you like uh, a little variation, if you get bored and you want to throw that in there. All right, um, but uh, the A chord is going to come next. Uh, four, fourth string, third string, second string, second fret. Uh, I'm going to get my thumb up here and I'm going to mute that sixth string in case I nick it. And uh, I'm going to hit the open fifth string is an A. Okay, my strings are sounding old. I got to change them. They sound kind of dull. Um, so I'm going to hit the 5th string, and then boom, down, down, up, and again if you can't do that, down, 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 up, down, down, back to E, E, then we're going to pivot, B7 chord is our next chord, that is the 5th string, 2nd fret, 4th string, 1st fret, 3rd string, 2nd fret, 1st string, 2nd fret, okay? All right, that's a tough chord, but you can do it. Um, I'm going to mute the sixth string on that one. I'm, my boom on that one is going to be the fifth string again. And it's only for one measure. Uh, and if you don't do the boom, you just do down, 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 or down, down, down. Up. That's it. So remember, it's three, four time. It's like a waltz. And then you're back to E chord for the end. So the nice thing about this song is it, it's, it follows the same pattern for the whole song. Uh, so those are right up our alley. I love those songs. Um, you don't have to worry about anything changing. You just do the, as long as you can figure out how it's going, then you're all set. All right, so let me play through it. Uh, we got an E chord for eight bars. Next, we're going to come to an A for two, and then E. For an extra one, and then B7 for one, and then E for two. Okay? This time I'm going to add the E7 chord. A chord. To an E chord. And then the E to the B7. song you would end on an E chord. Okay? Uh, let me try it uh, let me try it again uh, clearer when I throw in the E7, okay? Um, and also uh, instead of the E7 if you really wanted to get uh, uh, a different sound is you could go leading to the A chord. So all I did there was hit the 6th string open, 6th uh, string 2nd fret, 4th fret. So E, F sharp, G sharp, let me throw that one in there. So E chord. Uh, here's the E7. And then the A. And then the E. Stay on the E. The B7. To the E. Now we're throwing that bass run. Great song.
Hi, I forgot there's an intro to uh, I'm So Lonesome I Would Cry, or I Could Cry. Uh, sorry, <laughs> this is like three weeks later. <laughs> I'm wearing different clothes if you didn't know this. Alright, so, there is a little bit of an intro. You don't have to worry about it, most people don't. But on the recording there's a little intro, it's an E chord. The B7 to E. Then you're into the song. And then the whole rest of the song is just the way I showed you in the video. <laughs> okay, so the so the intro is boom, down, down, up on an E chord, and then a B7. Same thing, except I hit the fifth string, and then back to the B. That's it. Thank you, Hank Williams. Sorry. Thanks. Bye.